day my viewers once again everywhere you are watching me today we'll be talking on controlled accounts control account is actually prepared to show the value of our debtors debtors of a firm and creditors of a firm debtors are individuals or firms that they that are owing the business at the moment Creditors are individuals or firms that the business owes at the moment. So the business usually prepares a controlled account to keep these records. For instance, in business, we have many customers that the business sells to on credit. So it might be good to just prepare a single account that will show the value of our debtors. At the same time, one for the creditors. That means we have two controlled accounts. Debtors control account and creditors control account. Debtors control account is the same thing as trade receivables control account or customer's control account or sales ledger control account because debtors are individuals business had sold to on credit which means they were owing creditors on the other hand the other name is purchase ledger control account because of the word debtors that means debtors will normally have a debit balance hence any transaction or any deal that will increase what debtors are owing or the value of debtors will be in the debit side of debtors control account. Example of items that will increase what customers are owing is uh, sales on credit. Credit sales will increase what debtors owe. Sometimes the customers may delay their payment and the business may charge them some interest on the overdue account. That will also increase what they are going for. Interest charged. For the credit side of this account, it shows the items that will reduce the value of our debtors or that will reduce the amount debtors are owing the business. First, or one of it is bad debts. Bad debt is debts that cannot be recovered again. For as a result of bankruptcy or for any reason, a customer may not be able to pay you again. So best thing to do is to write it off. Take it from the present list of debtors. So bad debt will be in the credit side. Don't forget I said any item that will reduce the value of our debtors is in the credit side. Also, when discounts are allowed to debtors, the amount they should pay will reduce. So it goes to the credit side. Sales returns will also reduce the value of what customers should pay. When you have sold goods of, let's say, $10,000 to customers, and the following day, for instance, they returned 1,000 worth of goods, you know, at that point, it is 1,000 will be reduced from the 10,000 sold initially. So sales returns will reduce the value of debtors. Every other item, like uh, uh, amounts that will be sent from sales ledger to purchase ledger, will also reduce the debtors. It means that when a debtor is the same as a creditor, the amount will set off, will come, count, uh, will the amount will set off one another. If a customer is owing fifty thousand for, for the business to the business, and the business sell and uh, the business purchases goods of that same amount, there will be contrast set off. At the end of the day, we'll add up the left hand side. I'll add up the right hand side. The side that is smaller, which is most times the credit side would be the balance carried down. So this balance is the difference between the two sides. So we add up, which will make it equal. Then 
we bring this balance down for the beginning of next period. The same amount of carry down is now brought down. That will be the value of the debtors at the end of the period. For creditors control account, which is the same thing as sales, which is the same thing as a for creditors control account, which is the same thing as purchase ledger control account, we show the value of creditors. Creditors from the word credit, they will have credit balance normally. So balance from forward is in the credit side. Credit side is the right hand side, debit side is the left hand side of an account. So any transaction that will increase the value of creditors will be in the credit side of creditors control account. Example is credit purchases. When a business purchases goods on credit, it will increase the amount of creditors that the business has. When the business, our business, does not pay on time, sometimes the creditors may charge interest to the business. That will increase the amount being owed. Interest charged. On the other hand, now, items that will reduce the value of debts to creditors will be in the debit side of creditors' control account. They include payment to creditors. Payment to creditors will reduce amount being owed to creditors. That's cash or check payment to creditors or transfers to creditors will reduce amount being owed. Discount received. Discount received to creditors will reduce amount to be paid to creditors. So hence it comes to the left hand side, which is the debit side. Uh, discount received. Also, uh, when sales ledger balance is transferred to purchase ledger balance, it means when a debtor is the same as creditor, if you reduce the amount in the debtor's account, at the same time, you reduce the amount in the creditor's account. That's called contra set off. At the end of the period, we look at, we add up the left hand side and we add up the right items to the right hand side. The one that is smaller will be the balance carried down, which is most times in the, in the left hand side. Balance carried down. So we add up this side and we add up this side. Hence, the balance drop down will be in the opposite or the reverse side. Which means that the balance or ex of existing creditors at the end of the period is this amount. Recap again or overview. Debtors control account is the same as sales ledger control account. It shows the value of debtors, which most times would have a debit balance normally. Creditors control account is the same as purchase ledger control account. It shows the value of creditors, and at the end of the period. It most times will have a credit balance as balance drop down. At this point, we we'll call the class a day. Thank you very much for being part of the class today. We we'll see you once again and next time on another topic. God bless you. At this point, we we'll call the class a day. Thank you for watching this video. And at the end of the watching, please like and subscribe to this channel, Accounts and Business with Abiola. Thank you. See you one more time. And once again, bye.